Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel English by Puloknath and I am Puloknath, assistant teacher Urbo Barashat Adusha Vidyapit. I am today going to discuss with you on the poem Meeting at Night by Robert Brown. The poem has been included for the students of class 11 of West Bengal Council of Higher Secondary Education. The poem Meeting at Night by Robert Browning. So students, before going through the text, we shall discuss in detail about the poem, its background, and also about the poet Robert Browning. Robert Browning was a Victorian poet. That means he started writing poems in a period when that period which we literally, uh, which we categorize as from the point of view of literature as Victorian period. He is one of the best Victorian poets. Uh, his other contemporary poets were Tennyson, Arnold, and others. And Robert Browning, before was born, first of all, I shall give you the information that uh, Robert Browning was born in May 7, 1812 in London. And from his very, uh, from his very childhood, he was interested in literature and other sort of studies. He started his uh, started his study in his father's library and from there onward he was interested in literature and uh, at very early age he composed uh, he composed uh, his uh, volumes of poetry and his first published poem was Pauline in 1833. And uh, you may say Robert Browning was a kind of combination of a scholar, artist, poet, and dramatist. Kiki Bolochi, scholar, artist, poet, and dramatist. Therefore, at the very beginning of his career, he wanted to establish Establish himself as a dramatist and he started writing dramas, but none of his dramas gained popularity, gained fame. So you may say that he was a failed dramatist. That's very important point to note that he was a failed dramatist. Later on, he shifted himself from writing dramas to writing poetry. Drama writing, Kobita writing. Even he started writing lyrics and gradually he gained fame and popularity as a poet. But his interest, as his interest was in drama, we find a kind of uh, dramatic pattern in his lyrics. So he started writing sort of lyrics which had a kind of dramatic sensation, a kind of dramatic pattern in them. So his poems are categorized as dramatic lyrics. Hmm. And uh, <clears throat> from the very beginning of his career, he was in search of a new literary form of writing. And from this search, emerged this dramatic poetry. Dramatic poetry clear tar kintu tendency hoche tar mane literary bend uh, tar character er modhe tar sottar modhe hoche dramatist er kintu tini drama writing er khetre kintu safollo panni kobita writing e uh, mononibesh koren so uh, he was uh, in search continuously in search of a kind of new form of poetry writing and due to this constant effort, due to this search and 
he generated or he created kind of form which you may call a dramatic poetry okay a dramatic poetry that means uh, there you will find a kind of fusion of poetic genius and dramatic skill tar kobita gulo jodi poro tar moddhe kintu a poetic genius definitely he was a famous poet and you will find a kind of poetic genius uh, no doubt about this and uh, also dramatic environment and this besides this sort of uh, <clears throat> beside this sort of uh, you may say dramatic poetry he also created or made popular a kind of form which is called dramatic monologue though this poem jodio ei kobita ta this poem is not a dramatic monologue still i will say few words about the dramatic monologue because whenever you will say uh, you will read about the poetry of rauli you must know about the dramatic monologue dramatic monologue is a type of poem in which uh, the speaker is not the poet himself others and in a critical moment or a critical juncture of his life the poem starts and he that narrator uh, narrates the life story in front of a silent listener and uh, in the time of uh, narrating his life story the complex psyche of that speaker is revealed theek ache here also in this poem you will a uh, fine kind of dramatic flavor but this is not a dramatic lyric because a dramatic monologue because there is no silent listener and here also you will not find kind of uh, uh, complex psychological analysis okay next uh, i shall say about the poet uh, that he was robert browning who is a poet of love <clears throat> uh কাইন্ড অফ তার যে কবিতাকে আমরা বলবো যে তিনি ভালোবাসার কবি তার ভালোবাসার কবিতার ক্ষেত্রে যেটা বলা যায় তার হিজ লাভ কনসেপ্ট অফ লাভ ওয়াজ রিয়েলিস্টিক অ্যান্ড সাইকোলজিক্যালি ট্রু অর্থাৎ বাস্তব সম্মত এবং মনস্তাত্ত্বিকভাবে মানে সঠিক ভালোবাসাকে কিন্তু তিনি তার কবিতার মধ্যে দিয়ে প্রকাশ করেছেন আর লাভ ইজ আ কাইন্ড অফ ফিলিং ফর হিম দ্যাট ইউনাইটস অল বিং ফাইনিট ম্যান touches infinite through the love অর্থাৎ এমন একটা কনসেপ্ট কে কিন্তু তিনি লাভ এর কনসেপ্ট তার কবিতার মধ্যে দিয়ে দেয়ার চেষ্টা করেছেন যেখানে ফাইনিট ম্যান touches the infinite he find we find a kind of robust optimism on the part of the poet uh, in his attitude towards love jodio তুমি ম্যাক্স ইন মোস্ট অফ হিজ পোয়েমস হোয়েন এভার ইউ উইল রিড তোমরা দেখবে যে এখানে যদিও ফুলফিলমেন্ট আমরা তার ভালোবাসার কবিতার মধ্যে খুব একটা পাই না কারণ তিনি ইচ্ছা করে ফুলফিলমেন্ট কে কিন্তু বর্জন করেছেন কারণ তার কাছে ইফ উই গেট এভরিথিং হোয়াট এভার উই ওয়ান্ট হেয়ার ইন দিস ওয়ার্ল্ড হোয়াট উইল হ্যাপেন দ্য স্পিরিচুয়াল ইভলিউশন উইথ ইন আস টু অ্যাচিভ অ্যাকমপ্লিশমেন্ট ইন এভরিথিং উইল কাম টু এ স্ট্যান্ড স্টিল উইল চিজ যে ভালোবাসার ক্ষেত্রে আমরা যদি অর্জন করতে পারি সব কিছু যা আমরা চাই এখানে এই পৃথিবীতে তাহলে কি হবে তাহলে আমাদের ভিতরের যে আধ্যাত্মিক অস্পিরিচুয়াল একটা উন্নতি সেটার গতি কিন্তু থেমে যাবে তাই লাভ ফর হিম ইস আ কাইন্ড অফ হাফ আর্ক অর্থাৎ অর্ধ চন্দ্রাকারের মতো যেটা গেটস কমপ্লিটেড ইন হেভেন ইন সাবলিমেশন okay this concept of love you will find in his poems like the rust right together perfidious lover uh the bible ejra or that sort of poem also in this poem meeting at night as well uh, he is searching for love but uh, it's kind of unfulfilled love jodio here you will find a kind of meeting between the lover and the beloved but kind of feeling of unfulfillment here also you will find so this is about the poet robert browning robert browning was a drum poet of uh, he was mainly famous as a dramatic lyricist and also 
he is mainly famous as a poet of love. Okay, now we will come to that poem, uh, particularly that poem. This poem is Meeting at Night. This poem was first published in Dramatic Romances and Lyrics, and that was in 1845. Dramatic Romances and Lyrics in this volume of poetry. This poem, Meeting at Night, was published. But first, at first, this poem was not so, so short and with that heading. The poem was written and the poem was longer with the heading Night and Morning. Night and Morning. And uh, later on, this poem, Night and Morning, was divided. The first part was given the title meeting at night that has been included in your syllabus and the second part was named as parting at morning. Othar, Ravdre Shakhatkar, Shakale, Vidari. Ehi dutu, parte kintu, bhakpada, poet. Ehi man. Now, this point I will highlight that is, this poem is highly autobiographical. And I shall discuss with you few autobiographical elements that you will find in this poem. And that autobiographical element that you will find in this poem matches highly with uh, Robert Browning. Though Robert Browning has uh, denied that this is not a poem about his own life. Key autobiographical element with Pai Amra. Jeta Amra Degbu, je Jokhon, Tini, Robert Browning, Kobita Lichin, the volumes of poetry, Lokashito Hoche, and he was gradually gaining popularity, gaining fame. Even Akon Karmoto, Ato, Media, Etauta, Dapachilo, Tokon Kobita Guluk into periodicals published. J. Rabom Shaptahik, the Mashik magazine, Beroto, Shaygrute, Lokashito Hoto. And uh, at the same time, was when uh, Robert Browning was writing poems in the periodical, periodicals. Another poet, poetess, you must say, Elizabeth Barrett, was also writing poems. And she was also writing poems on the theme of love. Whereas, there was a basic difference. Uh, uh, Robert Browning is uh, writing poems about the unfulfilled love, the love that will be fulfilled in heaven, in sublimation. But, uh, Elizabeth Barrett is writing love poems about fulfillment of love. Tar Kobita Gulokit into Robert Browning Kup Mundi Porte. Ebon Tar Kobita Porte Porte, Robert Browning fell in love with Elizabeth Barrett. Into Takatokonad in Dakini, just Kobita Porch, Kobita Porit or Preme Porigation. And he wrote a love letter to Elizabeth Barrett, and that was the shortest love letter and most famous love letter ever written in the history of uh, literature. Ki lekha chilo? Je chotto line te erakomi chilo? Je I have, I, I have read your poems, I, I love your poems, and I love you too. Thank you. Je ami tomar kobita kore chhi, kobita gulo ke ami halo bashi, ebo toba keo halo bashi. Ekta chichi liklen, duto chichi liklen, tinta chichi liklen. Ki tu, he got no response from Elizabeth, Barrett. What happened? Uh, Browning was confused whether she is not getting the letters or not. Uh, what is happening? Agdin tinte chichi lekhar pore jokhon kono uttor pelen na, tini kichu agdom beforo hoye pelen. He became desperate and one day he went directly to meet with Elizabeth Barrett. But when he went to meet with Elizabeth Barrett, when he had the meeting with Elizabeth Barrett, uh, he was stunned because Elizabeth Barrett was a paralyzed lady, a lady whose lower parts of his of her body was almost paralyzed. That komorthe ke nichor angshu ta puro puri paralyzed chilo. Bisma theke kubat utte patte na bicharate shuye thakte. Horan modde chola chola utte patte. Kintu erakom ekta shadi dik proti bondhu kotha niyo. Elizabeth Barrett had a kind of robust optimism. Robust optimism you will find in uh, uh, Robert Browning as well. And Elizabeth Barrett had also that sort of robust optimism. She wrote poetry about the fulfillment of love. And uh, 
Robert Browning was almost spellbound, was almost stunned to see this, how this is possible that a lady who is paralyzed, who cannot go out of a home, can write so beautiful poems. Even Sharashuri Jee Premier Postab Dichin, into Barrett, Elizabeth Barrett, she take a noshat kore dichin. Kintu, shudhu bakto Elizabeth Barrett, tar Premier Postab noshat kore Barrett's father was very conservative, orthodox. He did not at all want to accept the relationship between Elizabeth Barrett and Robert Browning. Robert Browning Affected again, a job journal, Dira Putin Cochilan, Jayo Putumanana Kolo, Elizabeth Barrett into the Premier Pustake, Shikar Kore, Ebon Kup Odput Amra Deko, J. Elizabeth Barrett and Baba Rokto Chokuke Upek Kapoleo, secretly Browning Jetu, Barrett and Barrett to meet with her. And what happened uh, in on eighteen, sorry, in eighteen forty six, Elizabeth Barrett and Robert Browning. The secretly married and eloped to Italy. Jetara Gopone Bia Kore, Evo Italite, Palija. Into Kup Odbut Babe, Amra Degbo, Italite Palija or Kore, Italy, Abohaho, Browning a Shojor Jeho, Manushik Tiho, Jekuno Habigo, Elizabeth Barrett into Hiratine, Shereotin. On it, a Shuster Rotation, Evo, they lived in Italy till Barrett died. এবং তার ইতালিতে অনেক বছর ছিলেন যতদিন না পর্যন্ত এলিজাবেথ ব্যারেট মারা যান তারপরে আবার রবার্ট ব্রাউনি ইংল্যান্ডে ফিরে আসে তাহলে বুঝতে পাচ্ছ দিস লাভ অ্যাফেয়ার হ্যাড এ গ্রেট কানেকশন উইথ দিস পয়েন্ট মিটিং এট নাইট হে হোয়াট ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড হিয়ার ইন দিস পয়েন্ট মিটিং এট নাইট এ কাইন্ড অফ সিক্রেট জার্নি অফ এ লাভার টু দা প্লেস অফ হিজ মিটিং উইথ হিজ বিলাভেড বাই Secret in the sense because there are a lot of barriers, physical barriers, there are a lot of topographical barriers and all physical or topographical barriers as well as social barriers overtaking all this Robert Browning. That speaker, lover, is going to meet with his beloved. Even it is into she Robert Browning, she gopon obishar trust to render the bus. She ta ke into mona kori yadai. Jai ho, Robert Browning Jr. or Shikar Poetilan about uh, any sort of connection, so autobiographical connection with this poem. Okay, then <clears throat> now we shall speak very particularly about this poem. The title is Meeting at Night. By uh, listening to the title, you can very easily understand that uh, the poem will describe a kind of secret meeting and that is also jodio meeting ta matto alpo ektu shomoyer jonne shesher char line e meeting ta ke describe kora hoyeche but the whole poem describes about the secret and perilous journey undertaken by the lover to meet with his beloved secretly under the cover of night by overtaking a lot of uh, topographical and social barriers. Je kobitar modhe amra ki dekhbo? Kobitar modhe amra dekhbo je muloto jeta ke bondona kora hoyeche rater ondhokare lover tar ekta bipod shongkul jatra korchen bibhinno bhogolik badha ke land and sea egulo ke otikrom kore ebong samajik badha ke jekhane tari sakhatkarer onumoti nei je tara kintu she lover kintu ei bipod shongkul jatra Kuchi. Uh, ebon, finally, he is getting success and he is united with his lady love. Ebon, unon mili to kuchi, tar lady love is shathe, actor niddishto, purgo niddishto, jai gathe. Ehi takei kintu, uh, kobitar modhe, tomadir ke dhekhano hoye chhe. Tala title is judi uh, significance ta tholo. This title is very significant. Meeting at night. Follow the two words, meeting as well as night. The word meeting is describing a meeting as well as secret meeting also here between a lover and a beloved by overtaking a lot of hurdles, 
by overtaking a lot of barriers on a batha putibondo patake cross pure lover ebong beloved meeting ke kintu dekhano hoyeche and night night kotha ta kintu ochur mane ekhane guruttopurno ki immensely important very significant the word night is creating a kind of atmosphere that is secret that is that is sensational night uh, and that uh, use of the word night is bringing uh, in the poem a kind of uh, romantic atmosphere or more particularly you may say you will find a kind of gothic sensation in that word night the well, meeting at night refers to the secret journey undertaken by the lover to meet with his beloved by crossing several barriers okay and you will find kind of romance kind of sensation uh, gothic romances uh, gothic romance hocche tomar um, uh, je gothic te use kora hocche je ek particular type of novels ache ingreji te jar mul srosta hocche walter scott tini je novel gulo ke likhten shei gulo ke bola hoy গথিক নভেল রোম্যান্সেস বা গথিক নভেলস তার মধ্যে ভূত পেদ রাত্রি নাইটলি অ্যাডভেঞ্চার এগুলোকে কিন্তু বর্ণনা করা হয় তাই এখানেও তাই আরেকটা কথা এই কার্যক্ষেত্রে বলি যে দার্নি দ্যাট দ্য লাভার ইজ আন্ডারটেকিং ওভার দ্য সি অ্যান্ড ওভার দ্য ল্যান্ড দ্যাট জার্নি ক্যান বি কম্পেয়ার্ড উইথ দ্য মেডিয়েবল নাইটলি অ্যাডভেঞ্চার মধ্যযুগীয় নাইট কে এন আই জি এস টি নাইটদের অ্যাডভেঞ্চারের কথা তোমরা জানো নাইটরা বিভিন্ন প্যারিলস জার্নি করতো সমগ্র পৃথিবীর ওপর দিয়ে একটা ইপসিত লক্ষ্যকে তাদের জীবনের লক্ষ্যকে অর্জন করার জন্য তাহলে হেয়ার অলসো দ্য লাভার ইজ আন্ডারটেকিং সাচ এ প্যারিলস জার্নি ফার্স্ট ওভার দ্য সি ইন এ ভেরি স্মল বোট অ্যান্ড দেন ওভার দ্য ডার্ক ব্ল্যাক ল্যান্ড হুম under the cover of darkness uh, there are several chances of getting caught red handed and being bitten by the family members of the beloved still he is making this journey why in order to meet with his coveted aim that if she to look through the meeting with his beloved shei jonno kintu jatra hocche so that journey is a kind of nightly journey অর্থাৎ সেই মধ্যযুগীয় নাইটদের যাত্রার সাথে তুলনা করা যেতে পারে অ্যান্ড ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড so that sort of gothic sensation then then what is the central idea of the poem the central idea to the act of the central idea ta ke tumra bolte chao tale bolte paro je central idea hocche je journey je undertaken by the lover definitely je ek kotha je central idea ta ke bolo je love conquers all hearts etai ek kotha যে ভালোবাসা সমস্ত বাধাকে কিন্তু অতিক্রম করতে পারে এটাই কিন্তু সেন্ট্রাল আইডিয়া অফ দ্যাট পয়েন্ট যে লাভ কনকুয়ার্স অল হার্ডলস লাভ হেয়ার ইজ ডেসক্রাইবড বাই রবার্ট ব্রাউনিং অ্যাজ আ সর্ট অফ ইন্টেন্স প্যাশন একটা গভীর ভালোবাসার অনুভূতি বলে বর্ণনা করা হয়েছে দ্যাট এনার্জাইসেস দ্য লাভার টু টেক সাচ এ পেরিলাস জার্নি by overtaking all sort of hard hurdle to achieve his coveted aim etai kintu tai je bhalobasha ke ekhane bola hoyeche ekta gobhir passion je passion energizes korche je passion lover ke undaunted kore dicche akuto bhoy kore dicche to undertake such a perilous journey erokom mane bipad sankul jatra korte tar ipshito lokkho ke pawar jonno এটাই কিন্তু সেন্ট্রাল আইডিয়া এবং যখন তোমরা কবিতাটা পড়বে দ্য পোয়েম ইজ ভেরি শর্ট অ্যান্ড দ্য পোয়েম হ্যাজ বিন ডেসক্রাইব ইন্টু টু পার্টস দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্ট ডেসক্রাইব দ্য জার্নি আন্ডারটেকেন বাই দ্য লাভার ওভার দ্য সি প্রথম পার্টটাতে কিন্তু যে প্রথম তোমার ছটা লাইন আছে প্রথম ছটা লাইনে কিন্তু ডেসক্রাইব করা হচ্ছে যে যাত্রাটা লাভার করছে সমুদ্রের ওপর দিয়ে দ্যাট সি that is gracy and under uh, yellow half moon adha chandra kriti chand ache adha mane half chand uh, 
এবং সেটা ই হলো খুব আলো আধারি তার মধ্যে দিয়ে ছোট্ট একটা ডিঙি নৌকায় যাত্রা করছে অ্যান্ড ইন দ্য সেকেন্ড পার্ট অ্যান্ড ইন দ্য সেকেন্ড স্ট্যান্ডিয়া ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড দ্য জার্নি আন্ডারটেকেন বাই দ্য লাভার ওভার দ্য ল্যান্ড ল্যান্ড হুইচ ইজ ওয়ান মাইল লং অ্যান্ড হুইচ কনসিস্ট অফ থ্রি ফিল্ডস অ্যান্ড দ্য ল্যান্ড ইজ ব্ল্যাক ল্যান্ড ব্ল্যাক ইন দ্য সেন্স বিকজ ইট ইজ নাইট অ্যান্ড ব্ল্যাক অলসো মেটাফোরিক্যাল সাজেস্ট এ কাইন্ড অফ হোপলেসনেস ওকে তাহলে এই দুটো পার্টে কিন্তু তোমাদেরকে কবিতাটা দেওয়া হয়েছে ফাইনালি হোয়াট উই ফাইন্ড ফাইনালি উই ফাইন্ড দ্য মিটিং অফ দ্য লাভার অ্যান্ড দ্য লাভার but they cannot speak they are so excited whenever lover is tapping on the window pane that was the predefined signal that he you will put a tap on the window pane and listening to the tap on the window pane the beloved understands that the lover has come to meet with her and uh, she opens the door and just uh, lights the matches and they are so excited after meeting after such a long gap that uh, they just forget to speak and their hearts are beating ebong tader asputo awaj ke otikrom kore tader kintu bits pandon ta ke shona jacche etai kintu kobita ar ei kobita bolar jonne kobita ta ke lekhar shomoy besh koto gulo imagery use korechen robert browning imagery ni ekta alada question hoy few images are just appealing to your sense of uh, sight a uh, few images are uh, appealing to your uh, sense of hearing auditory image few images are uh, touching towards our uh, touch and smell etc etc uh, we shall discuss about the imagery when we shall go through the text so students this is in short about the general background about the autobiographical element and about the uh, date of composition inclusion in volumes and the features dramatic lyrics dramatic monologues and the style of writing by robert browning this is short in short about the general discussion on the poem meeting at night and in my second video I shall discuss with you in detail in line the text meeting at night so if you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification whenever i publish new videos and uh, put your comment in the comment box if you have any difficulty in understanding my lectures and in understanding the poems So thank you to all my students for seeing the video till the last thank you